All right, YouTube, this is a test on flat panels versus solar tracking. Okay, these ones are solar tracking, of course. The ones back over there, identical set. They are not tracking. They are just going to be flat the whole day. I'll explain that why in a second. Oh, real quickly, we'll see how they're doing this morning. Uh, it's 9.36. All right. The tracking panels are about 650. They've made a little over a kilowatt so far in three hours. I don't remember if I reset these. Let's go out to the other ones. Okay, here we are up in the shed with the flat panels. They're only bringing 420 watts. They've made almost a half a kilowatt. So what I'll do is I'll come back at noon and we'll see how the two different sets are doing. All right, you two back again. It is 147. See how the panels are doing. It's on my garage. 630 watts. Made 3.17 kilowatts. Seven and a half hours. All right, we'll go check the other one. All right, here we are. Up in the shed, 688, 2.45, this one's still playing catch up. Uh, the only advantage these flat panels have, as opposed to my tracking ones, is the angle of the panels is almost perpendicular with the sun. Alright, I will come back when the sun is down. All right, it is 6.30 almost, and she's still making a little power, but I think we'll call it today. Uh, and then at 4.78 kilowatts, a little over 12 hours. Now we'll go check the other one. All right, up here with the flat panels, she's still making a little power. We got 3.93 kilowatts in 12 hours all right so 4.78 uh, kilowatts is a hundred percent and 3.93 kilowatts is 82 percent so the solar tracking panels actually did about uh, 18% better in this case. They probably would have did a little better if they were angled a little bit better towards the sun like the flat panels, but All right, today is the 14th. It's the next day and I'm wondering if I could do better than 18% because yesterday was a partly cloudy day and I'm thinking about it on an all cloudy day whether the panels are flat or tracking the results would pretty much be the same as far as kilowatts being made. So I'll run the test again, see now there's not a cloud in the sky. And I'm also going to make sure that these panels every hour track. I'll just simply uh, disconnect the battery and reattach it every hour. That way they stay tracking the sun, at least until I get a timer set up on this. Um, I also have some marine batteries I'm going to be messing around with uh, starting a bank but what I what I don't know and to anyone out there that can help me out is for the money what is the best charge controller I can buy there's so many out there uh, there's the cheap ones the cheap Chinese ones there's the uh, midnight controller the tracer I think there's a renegade out there and also um, does anybody know um, how big my battery bank would have to be um, what I want to do is you know burn up some power at night off of the batteries and the average night I use about say four four kilowatts so how big would my battery bank have to be where I only drain them down to say 80% um, any help would be appreciated uh, as far as the results of what happens today, I won't do a play-by-play, -play, but 
Uh, tonight, I'll go through the totals again and see what the percentage is. All right, let's see how we did on test two. 5.38 kilowatts in over 12 hours. We'll check the other one. All right, here we are at the flat panels. We got 4.65, 12 hours. All right, here we are. If, uh, let's get it to focus. If 5.39 is 100%, 4.65 is 86%. So they did 14% better. That's even worse than yesterday. But look at the difference in the angle. Those are tilted a lot more, and those today were actually bringing in 50 more watts than this set was. So if this set was at an angle like that, I'm sure it would uh, perform a lot better. So I'm gonna have to raise this set to, uh, to match. But anyway, uh, we know it's about, well, 20% or better if they're tracking. I can't really say 30%, but 20% or better. Hello YouTube, now it's the 15th. Um, not every day is equal, but so what I'm gonna do is test three. I'm gonna run the panels the opposite way. The ones on the garage will remain flat, and the ones on the shed will track. The quick note is you can see how far those panels actually tilt. And I don't know if you can see that, there's no shadowing on the one panel. That's pretty good. This one's at 550 watts. That one's at 240. All right, test three. Uh, this one made 4.05 kilowatts in 11 and a half hours. Uh, close enough. The reason why I'm calling it quits right now is because the solar tracking ones just spun all the way to the morning position by themselves. These, of course, are staying flat. We'll go look at the other ones. All right, up in the shed here, you can see I got my battery hooked up now. And this one did 5.36 kilowatts in 11 and a half hours. So we'll work out the numbers real quick. All right, the totals are in. Now, yesterday, we'll take the house first. It made 5.39 tracking, land flat, only four. So once again, if the higher number is 100%, then it did 25% better. Now there's two ways you could do this, I guess. If you wanna take the low number, being 100%, then tracking, it did 133%. Now the shed, Let's see if we can get this clear. Okay. Uh, you can see the numbers there. What it did tracking, a little bit better, of course. Well, that can't, comes out to about 13% better if you're going to use the tracking as 100%. Going the other way, it's only 15% better. Um, depends on which way you want to look at it, I guess. Uh, as far as today and yesterday, they were pretty close. Yesterday I made uh, 10 kilowatts total, and today only 9.4. Even though it seemed like the days were perfectly the same, so these panels are a little temperamental, and they put out different uh, watts all the time. But that's the total. That's what she is.